Amy, the doors are open, the beers are flowing and food is being served on actual plates. Little luxuries that we won't take for granted ever again. Despite being ravaged by drought, fire, flood and the pandemic, regional communities are here showcasing what rural Australia has to offer. Their strength and resilience is on display. A report will be put back to the National Parks and Wildlife Service before the Environment Minister is briefed. For now, at least, the commitment is to keep the old Nowra Bridge. It'll eventually be closed to traffic, but keeping it open for pedestrians and cyclists is one of the options on the table. 35-year-old Maxwell Garnett is facing seven separate charges after police allege he shot two men. You're at the headquarters of Australia's most prolific producer of regional news, yet we're struggling for long-term federal support. Is regional news a conversation that you've had with the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison? Even where the fire has already moved through, the ground is exceptionally hot. Spot fires continue to flare up posing a risk to nearby residents. Tanya, it really was an unprecedented move by the RFS in establishing a tourist leave zone, basically encouraging any tourist on the south coast to head home. However, increased bushfire activity this afternoon has meant more road closures, and that's resulted in the situation that we have here. The Princess Highway is a car park. In an incredible story of survival, the crew travelling in this four-wheel drive became trapped when a tree fell in front of the vehicle. They then had to scramble out of the wreckage which caught fire and run to safety. That was a nearby dam where they sheltered until they could be rescued. Welcome back to Win Local News. Cowboys coaching staff are encouraging a contest between Jake Clifford and Scott Drinkwater to partner North Queensland skipper Michael Morgan in the halves. Lincoln, the tall timber from Townsville, played limited minutes in Australia's loss to New Zealand. Temperatures were generally two to four degrees above the September average today. Samara Gardner, Win News.